Hello, um, today instead of doing a blog, I have a video. Uh, hopefully it's good. This is my wall. <laughs> Can you see me in the mirror? Hello. Um, so this is what I did most of the day. Not, not all the collages. That has taken several months, but uh, just getting a bunch of them on the wall. I think I had about 10 that went up today. And I'll come back in a second and... I'll show you some of them up close, but you can see it spans the entire wall. There's some blank space here. Shout out to Taylor Swift, but um, anyways, so, so that will be filled in with smaller papers down the road. This one here with Snoop Dogg on it, that was always considered my oddball because it was so busy, but it didn't go with anything else because it has red in it and purple and gray so it was and a bit of yellow and it's very hard to match all those things and uh, actually there's a gentleman there with a crown on he's actually over here as a knight so I didn't want those two together because I didn't want to have too much repetition of the same faces or items so it took a long time before uh, Snoop Dogg had a mate even though Martha Stewart is down there. <laughs> I still haven't seen the cooking show. I want to see it. Um, so these ones are more recent. I uh, have a skeleton on the toilet somewhere. Can you see him? There he is. Yeah, and myself missing that doll. <laughs> and also this one up here, which I like to call breathe in disease. <laughs> Every one of them has a name from something that's on the collage. And this one's kind of neat, made you look, because I took a Polaroid of the collage as I was doing the collage, and it's in the collage. Does that not blow your mind? It blows my mind. And then I have a thing down here. It was an ad for a car, and it says, You might not need it, but can you live without it? And that's how I feel with crafts. Because, like... Honestly, who needs to fill their wall? Me. This one here with the $5 coupon was another oddball because it was so green. I didn't have anything really that matched. So this one just happened to work beside it. So that was nice. But this one, sorry this is so shaky, has a lot of old stuff on it like the $5 coupon and the QuickBooks card were things I carried around in my pencil case for years when I was in college and just a few months ago I thought I don't need this shit <laughs> so it's on the wall now and this says think and then it says I used to think but now I read The Economist so uh, some of them have themes some of them don't but this one was more being about thinking because it has QuickBooks which is the accounting software this one here, Keep Calm and Float On, it used to be down the other end of the wall, but there's nothing red. So it was just, it made me angry and I had to pull it off. But it fits well with this because there's red in here. Somewhere? There. <laughs> Can someone tell me what these are? I don't know if they're puppies or polar bears. <laughs> I know these are puppies. And possibly Lenny Kravitz's brother. Oh, I wanted to tell you about this um, playground strangulation. I got that in grade four as a newsletter and kept it in a scrapbook until recently. <laughs> and now it's on the wall. Oh, yes. And did you see my pizza? I love that. This one features a note written by both of my parents about my doctor in London when I was a child, Dr. Carey. And um, they both actually wrote on this note, because my dad's not good at spelling, so they have two different spellings of Dr. Carey, and this note was written in 1995. So there's a lot of old stuff here. And a uh, shout out to Wes Barker, I got his business card, and he actually wrote my name on this piece of paper. Hi Michael Bublé! This one will never go in a gallery because it has Donald Duck on it and I don't have the money to um, 
have Disney come after me. And also Star Wars here. But this is neat because it has a cut in it for the light to come on. This one you may have seen before. Um, with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, not the real ones, obviously. Um, this is probably one of the more offensive ones that I did. But I like this too because because it's about madness. We have Alice in Wonderland theme between two collages. You can see Alice down there. And uh, this girl reminded me of Alice. And um, the other offensive one is actually right beside it. I don't know if it will offend people, but you never know how people are. It says celebrate the bun in the oven. And then it talks about... Um, please identify the mistake and, and attach receipts, and it says, sorry, I'm pregnant, and there's a receipt there. Actually, how I got these Celebrate the Bun in the Oven cards, it was unintentional. Um, I just needed to buy envelopes, and you couldn't buy individual envelopes at the time, so I had to buy these, and it was very awkward paying for them at the dollar store, because obviously I do not have a bun in the oven. Um, this one here was the first one with Paul McCartney, so you can see it's not as exciting as the other ones. It only has, I think, 14 items on it, whereas um, some of the other ones have up to 33 or 25. And this was the second one, so they're not in order. And the bun in the oven was number three, and then after that I can't remember because there's too many. Hi, Martha. This was a sexual health clinic pamphlet that I had to read in high school. Um, so there's that. And the other day I found another pamphlet for another sexual health clinic in London, which I will put down here. With these hippos and Keanu Reeves.